right, hello children, it's Pastor Matt here for Children's Praise. Uh, we're doing our lesson this week, and our lesson this week is going to come from the very beginning of the Bible, in the book of Genesis, when God made all the things that he ever made. He made them in six days, and on the very last of those days, the sixth day, is when he made humanity. He made us uh, humans, us people, and he made us in two different ways. He made us as uh, men and women. So we could say boys and girls, and there's a difference between uh, boys and girls, and we're uh, different, but we're also the same. So I want to talk about this uh, today as we read from this part of the book of Genesis. Um, it's going to be Genesis 1, and it's verse 27. Okay, it's a really important part of the Bible that I want you to try your best to remember. And maybe you can work with it with your teachers this week to try to remember this verse. It says this, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. So those, <coughs> those words are a little different. We talk about a few things, one being male and female. That's another way of saying boy and girl. So he made them as boys and he made them as girls and were made in the image of God. Now, that's a really um, unique way of saying that we're kind of like God. We're not God, but we're made kind of like God. We look kind of like him, but we're not the same as him. And that's what it means to be like his image. So here's an image I have for you. And it's an image of, if you can zoom in there and see, umbrellas. Have you ever played with umbrellas before? I know Lily likes playing with umbrellas. And so when it's raining out, sometimes you might reach into your closet or the back of the car and grab an umbrella. And what we have here are three yellow umbrellas which are the same, they're all the exact same color. And then we have three other umbrellas, which are red, green, and yellow, right? But they're all umbrellas. So what we mean by that is we say they are similar or not the exact same, they're different. But one of them is not an elephant. Do you see any elephants on here? No, they're all umbrellas. So they're similar, they're the same, but they're also a little different. This one's red and this one's green, but all these are the same. So these are similar, but different. That's really important to understand that we have similarities and we also have differences. So for you older kids, here's a question for you. This will be in the catechism, question number 10. It says this, how did God create man? Right? So if you're one of the older kids, maybe you can work on this catechism question. It says this, God created man, male and female, in, <coughs> in his own image and in knowledge, righteousness, and holiness to rule over all other creatures. That's pretty complicated. But if you can understand what those words mean over time, that would be really good. That God created man in his own image, male and female, and also for, the, for you older kids to try to get the idea of what it means that he made them in knowledge, righteousness, and holiness, and to rule over all of his creation. So let me explain what that might mean, especially if you're one of the older kids, is if you clean your room, or if you brush your teeth, or if you get dressed in the morning and put your shoes and your socks on and your pants and your shirt, that's called ruling over creation and it it sounds kind of weird but that's really what you're doing you're taking control of the world god put you in and god made you to do that as a boy or as a girl you're supposed to uh, take control of your life or be self-controlled so if you're an older older boy or girl right now in the group maybe that's something you think about am i self-controlled do i control myself that's something uh now that you're getting older you're gonna have to start thinking about uh, but for you younger kids i'd like you to see it this way Look at this image. It's a similar one uh, to the umbrellas, but it's actually a little more complicated. So we actually have uh, images of the sun, and you see they're all the same. 
right? They're all yellow, smiling, circles, but they're actually also different, right? So you see with the sun, some have a black border, uh, some um, don't look the same at all, right? There's one that's always uniquely a little different. And the same thing <coughs> when you look at the cookies, all the cookies have a black border, except that one right there, right? So they're similar, but different. The same with the crayons. Only one of the crayons has the black inside, but all of them are orange and they look pretty similar. They all look like crayons. And look at all those shirts. A lot of them have stripes and they're pink. They're all pink, but this one doesn't have any stripes. So that's what it means to be the same, but also a little different, right? And so this is what the Bible's teaching, that there is a boy and a girl. Do you see any similarities there? We could even pause the video, but you could talk to your teacher. Do you see any similarities? What similarities do you see? I'll point one out. We both have two feet, two arms, right? We have hair and eyes, but the girl looks a little different. She's wearing a skirt, she's got a little longer hair. The boy's wearing pants, his hair is a little shorter, right? They're the same, very similar, but also very different. And then that even becomes more obvious when you have all sorts of different people in the world that are boys and girls, and girls and boys, similar but different. So I want you to understand that that's how God made the world from our Bible verse where we read in Genesis. Genesis 1, where it says, God made them male and female, in his image, he both made them male and female, boys and girls. So learn that with your teachers today. Think about what that means. What are the similarities and differences between you all in the room right now? And how has God made you different? And how has God made you like everyone else? That's really important for you to understand as you get older and learn so much more about the world and so much more about yourself. So I'll see you again next week.